Hi. So we've just finished recording for this week's podcast and we are doing this week a masterclass on laughter as release. So last week we did tears as release. This week it's laughter as release because we want you to have tools and opportunities to do either. Mm. And it got us just talking about how our children are our mirrors, how they're bringing up exactly what we've probably already asked that asked for from the universe to be really hit with, to think about, to consider, mm. to awaken within ourselves and that our kids all of a sudden show up with these mirrors and sometimes we don't want to go there. So we went on this rabbit warren and then thought we'd just jump on and see if that kind of resonated with the rest of our tribe as well. So we came up with this question. What's, and what, yeah, what's pushing your buttons yeah. the most, right? Because, and you know, we're on the highlight reel that is Facebook. So if you... <laughs> we just exactly what yeah. we were just talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and so it doesn't matter how many gorgeous family photos you've been putting up of how magnificent your weekend was. Your kids are going to be pushing your buttons, <laughs> right? Because that's growth and that's the deal. And we are all about bringing reality to it, right? Mm. Bringing toolkits to it, bringing attention to it so we can understand the wisdom in it and mm. create a shift. And also just getting real and honest about that yeah. and the struggles and that the struggles don't mean you're failing at it and the struggles don't mean that you can't do it. It's when we can really anticipate and expect challenge that we can then allow mm. ourselves a toolkit to actually move through it rather than needing to run from it or, you know, just shut that shit down because we yeah. need to get out of there. Yeah. And you know what? This is no different for I have a, a newborn and so the first question anyone asks you ever, and I'm sure all of you know this is oh is she a good baby <laughs> and I thought it would be so easy just to sit there and go yeah you know she's great and then that's all you ever get from anyone and then yeah. if you're a mum who's struggling all you ever hear is everyone else got this shit sorted and I must be missing something you know I love you said that because my one of my sister-in-laws just had a baby and I don't think she realized the reality of that mm. right because maybe there was too many people around who said Oh yes, you're such a great baby. I'll yeah. sleep all really good. well. All good. Just been perfect adjustment. Yeah, <laughs> and so I start. Sorry, now it's it's like almost comical to me because someone says, "Oh, is she a good baby," and I go, "What's a good baby?" Yeah, and I wait for their answer, and they kind of go, "Oh, uh, I don't know." I guess they're all good. Maybe one who sleeps well is usually the answer I get. So everyone's asking how she's sleeping. Yeah, and so I go with you know what she's. I think she's fantastic, but I also have lower expectations because I know what this parenting gig is like, and I think she's awesome. And, you know, sometimes we have awesome nights, and I have a great day, and I think, I got this. Yeah. And then it can be the very next night I have a shit night or a shit day, and I think, fuck, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. So, and, I kind of think, and I'm honest, so you know what? That's the parenting roller coaster, right? Yeah. And I wait, and they go, yeah. And then I think, well, let's just have honest conversations yes. then. Let's just get real about this. It's not the highlights reel on Facebook. It's sometimes super hard and you feel like you don't have it anymore. Mm. And sometimes it's so, you know, just exuberantly incredible that you can't imagine being and doing anything else. Mm. So let's just be honest about that. <laughs> I love that example because that whole good baby thing used to drive me mental. It drives me bonkers. Why is that anyway? And even now I had a friend recently, mum at school, had a friend who had a baby and I was like, oh, she's so gorgeous. How are you going? And she goes, oh, she's such a great sleeper. She's like sleeping all the time. And I thought, I don't even know. I don't even ask you that. I don't yeah. even, it's not on my barometer that you're good or bad based on how your sleeping, baby is yeah. sleeping. Anyway, anyway, that's my rant because it's in my world at the moment. <laughs> So we really wanted to put it out there to really ask you what was your biggest parenting trigger at the moment because mm. we know that we all, every one of us, even if you think they're not, are struggling with something at mm. some point in time during our days at the moment and it can get really hard just to hold on to that and silently not have a toolkit for it. Yeah. So we wanted to ask you to build a tribe to make this okay, to make the struggle okay and that's the whole point of his is the whole point of our members group is to workshop what's going on for each of us so that we can really awaken and get to the learnings on the other side. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to... Yeah, and I mean, sometimes it might not even be that there's a glaringly obvious thing that is pushing mm -hmm. your buttons, but it might be a particular dynamic or a particular default that you find yourself on, like a particular track that you keep going mm -hmm. on, which, which you, when you find yourself there, you almost have a sense of kind of ickiness or emptiness or wanting to get away from it mm -hmm. because so often our children take us into places that we're wanting to escape from because they're ultimately taking us into our own, you know, deep, dark pain sometimes mm -hmm. that we haven't yet faced from 
our own childhood, whether we're conscious of it or not. And so it might even simply be that you find yourself in certain feelings around your child that you don't like and that you continue to, to face. And even having some, some inquiry and some awareness around what that dynamic is for you can start to yield some brilliance because it's almost you saying, okay, I'm open to this now. Tell me what, tell me what this is trying to teach me. Tell me what my child's trying to reveal to me. And I love that because it's a conversation with, with yourself on some level. It's a conversation with the universe to work with you around what you're here to learn mm. and what your child's helping you grow through, which mm. I think is beautiful. And it's all about quality questions. If you have mm. quality questions in which to gain the awareness and the wisdom, we don't need to wait for experience. We don't need time to heal. We can actually do it ourselves, you know, in a really conscious way. Mm. And that's what we're here to, to work with you. Yeah. So we would love to hear and we would love for you to, to just be vulnerable enough to share with everybody out there that what you're struggling with at the moment so we can all normalize struggle mm. and know that it's really normal it's actually necessary to our growth and if we weren't experiencing struggle that would be more damaging I would think than than if we were mm. so let's just you know build this tribe to keep each other going and and normalize challenge and build a tool toolkit through it mm. and I would say that probably for most parents who have children under two that sleep can often be a real challenge mm. it can be facing ourselves with the you know the nightly wakings it can be finding the balance between meeting needs during mm. the night and and looking after ourselves during the night and what we need and perhaps the connection that we're seeking with our partners during that time too mm. and and the feelings that we that come up around service in motherhood because yes it's a 24 hour gig but we also really deserve opportunity and time and need to set boundaries around when our time is our time mm. and sometimes I think particularly for new mothers who come from a more of an attachment kind of focus really setting those boundaries can be difficult mm. early on and it's a conversation that we have a lot in our members group around finding that mm. authentic place that, that, it, that, that our children are kind of seeking us to find essentially and that often our relationship dynamic is, is asking of us too. Mm. It's just this world as a mirror. It's just the most amazing concept, yeah. isn't it? That yeah. The universe is literally talking to us mm. through everybody around us and people are fascinating. So as soon as you remove the emotional trigger to that sting, you can actually start to see the wisdom and the genius that really is at play in, in every relationship that's around you and that's pretty amazing. Yeah. but And confronting, right? Like, yeah. you know, And that's what I love so much about women in the group is it that there's an, a leaning into that mm. you know and also a you know a humorous acknowledgement that sometimes we don't want to yeah but sometimes it's really uncomfortable yeah and there's a camaraderie in the fact that yet yeah, we're diving into and that's place. okay because yeah. that can be the hard part that can be the part that's missing from conscious parenting is that mm. if you haven't held this space perfectly that it's all ruined yeah and it's not no. it's, we're far more dynamic than Absolutely. than black and white so we want you to keep on rolling yeah that's it. I'll see you soon.